Hello friends, welcome to my channel. In today's video, I will explain how to make a simple crochet square motif. I hope it will be a useful video for you. This granny square pattern, crochet baby blanket, crochet bed sheet. You can crochet it as a throw pillow, TV blanket, or sofa throw. I will use a Lee's cotton gold threads while narrating the square. Crochet number three, M in me. If you are ready, let's start making the motif without wasting any time. Let's start making the square by making a magic ring. First row, four chains, double crochet into the ring. One chain, double crochet into the ring. Let's make a total of eight spaces inside the ring, side by side, with one chain in between. I have made seven spaces now. For the last space, one chain and slip stitch to the top of the first chain. One chain. We will cut the yarn here and continue with white color. Second row, you can start from any chain space. Three chains, two double crochets in the same space. One chain, three double crochets into the next space. one chain. Let's make three double crochets in all spaces until the end of the row. Make one chain between crochet groups. When we reach the end of the row, one chain. Slip stitch to the top of the first chain. One chain. We will cut the yarn here and continue with the next color. Third row, let's fix the yarn from any one chain gap. Three chains, two double crochets in the same space. One chain, to the next space. Three double crochets, two chains, three double crochets, first corner. One chain, three double crochets into the next space. One chain, to the next space, three double crochets, two chains, three double crochets, second corner.
one chain, three double crochets into the next space. One chain, to the next space, three double crochets, two chains, three double crochets, third corner. Let's continue until the end of the row. When we reach the end of the row, one chain, slip stitch to the top of the first chain, one chain. We will cut the yarn here and continue by making the light pink and dark pink color sequence. You can start from any corner. Fourth row, three chains, two double crochets in the same space. Let's make three double crochets in the spaces between the crochet groups until we reach the next corner. To the corner, three double crochets, two chains, three double crochets. Let's make three double crochets in the spaces between the crochet groups until we reach the next corner. And we will complete the first row of the pink color by making three double crochets in the last corner. Three chains, let's turn the pattern. Fifth row, let's make three double crochets in the spaces between the crochet groups until we reach the next corner. To the corner, three double crochets, two chains, three double crochets. And let's make three double crochets in the spaces between the crochet groups until we reach the end of the row. The end of the fifth row is important. Let's pay special attention to the namesakes. After the last crochet group we made, let's make a double crochet at the top of the last crochet in the bottom row. I'll switch to dark pink when doing the last double crochet. Three chains, let's turn the pattern. Since we have no more work with the pink color, we can cut the yarn. Sixth row, make two double crochets in the space between the crochet group and the last double crochet. Let's make three double crochets in the spaces between the crochet groups until we reach the next corner. To the corner, three double crochets, two chains, three double crochets.
and let's make three double crochets in the spaces between the crochet groups until we reach the end of the row. When we come to the end of the row, we must make three double crochets in the last space. Three chains, let's turn the pattern. Seventh row. We will repeat the same operations in the lower row until the corner. Let's make three double crochets in the spaces between the crochet groups. To the corner, three double crochets, two chains, three double crochets. Let's make three double crochets in the middle of the crochet groups on the left and continue until the end of the row. When we come to the end of the row, let's make a double crochet at the top of the last crochet in the bottom row, as in the second row of the pink color. One chain. Let's cut the yarn and continue with white color. In the last eighth row, we will surround the square with white color and complete the motif. You can start from the front of the square and the middle of any two crochet groups. Let's fix the yarn. Eighth row, three chains, two double crochets in the same space. Let's make three double crochets in the spaces between the crochet groups until we reach the next corner. To the corner, three double crochets, three chains, three double crochets. Let's make three double crochets in the spaces between the crochet groups until we reach the next corner. To the corner, three double crochets, three chains, three double crochets. Now friends, we will make three double crochets in these spaces we see until we reach the corner of the green color. To the corner, three double crochets, three chains, three double crochets. Mm -hmm. 
and now we will repeat the same steps as we did on the right edge until we reach the other corner. To create a corner in the last space, three double crochets, three chains, three double crochets. We will complete the row by slip stitching at the top of the first chain. Thus, we have completed all the construction stages of the square motif. In my next video, I will show my friends how to join the squares by creating different geometric patterns. Stay tuned and don't forget to share my video with your loved ones. Goodbye.